what's going on guys welcome to another vlog and uh yes i'm in the spare bedroom i have no idea why but we're just gonna roll with it but i know you guys are saying dang no you got a haircut yeah i did get a haircut i just want to shave it i wanted to shave it all but i got it shorter so it works but it's already like 5 45 so i'm trying to you know hurry up and get on the pond but first i just want to show you this i posted a new video today if you guys haven't seen this Go check it out. I've been on this video grind, just trying to get videos all out. That's a video that's going out Thursday, which you got that would that would already be out by the time you're watching this video. Um, but this one, yay! What's going on, guys? All right. To another vlog and so that 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 one just went up today. Went up at four. It's five forty-five exactly right now. And um, I guess we're gonna go do some pond fishing. We're gonna see what we can do. I got all my uh, my GoPro stuff. I'm just gonna be using the tripod today. Um, I actually got a little battery attached there too that I can just plug it up to. It's a little little Noah rig I got going on. But uh, got full cards, got full charged batteries. Um, so we are going to go hit a pond up. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna be fishing that long, but guys, oh, I was really motivated. I was like, man, I wanna go vlog today. I wanted to just go catch a few fish and um so let's go ahead and get to the pond so guys to be honest like today i really i really didn't plan on vlogging um i really didn't plan on vlogging or anything i was just gonna come home i was gonna edit some videos but literally i left school i went to the gym i worked out i went from the gym i went and grabbed some food from the house from there i went and got my hair cut and now we're at where we are now so uh Something got in my head, I was like, man, I, I kind of want to go film. I'm so ahead on videos right now. And I literally have, I believe, three, is it three? Yeah, I have three more videos to edit. And if I include today, if I include today, it'll be four. So, I'm so ahead right now. And I already have a video scheduled for Thursday, so that's going to work. So, we're just going to go to this pond. I got one pole and one of my rod pods up there. I had literally left my house without my tackle, and I had to turn around and get it. Um, and grab that. So I don't know what they're gonna be biting on. Hopefully I have a few little like square bills in there. I might fool around with that. See if we can catch us a few bass, but let's get it. All right guys, here at the pond, it's looking nice outside. I got about, I would say two hours. I might have a little bit longer to fool around. Um, I'm hoping to catch a big fish, guys. I really haven't found too many big fish in here, but this is a pond that I know I'll catch some fish. I don't have that much time, so I'm just like, I'm gonna go catch some fish and um, vlog for you guys and stuff. So let's let's go ahead and go try it out. I'll probably tie like a little crankbait on, um, maybe a little slow moving bait. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but we'll figure them out and hopefully catch some good fish. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, guys. Got my rod out of the rod pod. I got this little, this little jackal crankbait. Um, I know if you guys have thrown some of these, they're very expensive, very expensive. Um, this is actually really great. See, has a lot of rattle, has really good movement. It doesn't go too deep, so this is actually perfect for the pond. Has the red color, the water's a little stained in here. I mean, for the most part, it's clear, but it's still a little stained. Um, so that crankbait should work fine. So let's see how this goes. people will see what we can do. Yeah, there you go guys, first fish. Nothing big but on that jackal crankbait. It's about like six six cast, fifth, sixth cast in. 
and he hit it pretty good. I was on the phone with my dad. He was calling me at like the wrong time. He's like, are you home yet? I'm like, I decided to go to a pond and vlogging. All right, guys, there you go. Very healthy bass right there. Let's see what else we can do. Oh my God, I don't know if that's a carp or what that just was, but that thing is Guys, I don't know what I just saw, but literally when I was throwing that fish back, there's this little stump right here. And uh, I just saw this huge, someone's calling me again. I lost my girlfriend, she's on the break. Um, I don't think I answer that in a minute. But uh, I looked at the stump and literally this huge fish, if it was a bass, it had to be about 10 pounds or it was a carp or a catfish. I really don't know what it was, but it just literally cruised by and I can't tell if I got the boat. All right guys totally convinced about this pond now that was literally like a six or seven pound bass right there I, i'm not even kidding he just literally followed my lure back to the bank i don't know what made him just not bite but i guess he saw me at the top but dude this thing is huge i'm, I'm really hoping i can hook into him or at least hook into one about the same size i mean this thing's a monster There you go guys, a little one. I'm telling you that bass that I saw would easily gobble this thing up. I'm hoping I would get a big one. But seriously, my confidence level with this pond just went it just went through the roof after seeing that. Honestly guys, I thought this was a really good fish. You stop that thing just right when he hit it, it it stopped the bait like crazy he hit that thing hard totally smashed that crankbait just a little tiny guy he just he stopped it cold turkey all right guys what i'm doing with this crankbait is i'm pretty much just throwing it out there and when it hits the water there's there's a lot of grass and a lot of stuff growing in here so i'm, I'm kind of keeping my rod tip up all right, I got so excited right there, but I just hooked that big stump. Hey, let's go, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Talking about keeping my rod tip high. All right, guys. Well, I just snapped off like a twenty-five dollar crankbait, which kind of sucks because I'm not sponsored by them. Anything? Well, let's dig in my tackle. God, that sucks. Let's dig in my tackle box and see what I have crankbait related. All right, guys. Well, I found this. It's just like a little spro. It's called a Fat John sixty. Um, it's in like a neon color, so. I think this will work. I mean, it's not going to... I really like that crankbait, but... There was nothing I could do about it. It was out there. Not only was it hooked behind a rock that I could, it could have easily got, it was, like, wrapped around, like, three other rocks that I couldn't have got to unless I was on a boat. It really stinks. But maybe I can run this past that big one over here, and maybe he'll bite it. If that's the case. I mean, I just lost a $30 lure. Hopefully something good can come out of that. Well, guys, going back to what I was saying... Is usually I'll just I'm not throw it over there anymore. I just throw my bait out there, and there's so much grass in here right now that I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep my rod tip up and I'm gonna pop it every once in a while. The reason being is there's a lot of grass that crankbait is gonna be digging down in because most of these ponds are super shallow, and so this is gonna be the best way to keep the grass off your lure, especially that popping it. Not only does that keep the grass off the lure. And if the grass gets on the lure, it's gonna hit it off. But say a fish is following it, as soon as that bait pop, that fish will usually react and just hit that bait. All right. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys just saw that, but literally I casted this crankbait and I got it stuck on one of those little like pie cone things in the trees. 
I don't even know how I did it. And I was like, are you serious? If I get another one stuck, I'm going to be mad. And literally, right when I got it unstuck, I reeled it a few times. And it wasn't even... Ooh, I about got a hook in my finger. I'll be back in the water. Look at that, guys. Ooh, a little action shot. Got blood all over me. I swear this part right here is bad luck. I had ants on me one time and I almost got a hook in my finger. So anyways, what I was saying, that was a close one. Um, I literally threw out there, and the bait wasn't even running right. I was just reeling it and it was kind of wobbling weird and that fish just came up and just attacked it. That's crazy, guys. Dark than the other ones. I thought he was really, really small. I really even felt him. Wow, look at the colors on this fish. Look at that, guys. On that spur crankbait. Still working. You know, I think the other one would work better, but this is going to work, as we can tell. There you go, guys. Little bass. Too bad. Better than the last few. There we go, guys. Nice little chunky bass. This one actually is pretty chunky. Oh my! Oh, he came off. That fish literally. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's another one. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> guys, I'm, <laughs> I, uh, guys, <laughs> oh, did that really just happen, did that really just happen, oh my god, oh, I hooked him in the stomach, I don't know if he swirled at it or what, look at how tiny that guy is, literally guys, I don't know if you guys saw that, I made a far cast out there and literally was dead in the middle. Right when it hit the water, the first crank, he already hit the heck out of it. Had him on for a second, jerked it back. Crank it landed about 10 foot from the shore and this guy picked it up before I even knew it. I was getting my line unwrapped. That, that is insane, guys. I've never had anything happen like that. Yeah, no. That's the best spot. Walk away from the shore. Here you go, guys. Just got one right here. My dad's literally walked right up to the bank where all the fish are. I don't know why he would do that. He's like, they're all over here. Yeah, they're not going to fight if you walk up there. There you go, guys. Another little guy right in this corner. My crankbait actually messed up, and then he just came up and ate it. Not too bad. Gosh, that is a massive bluegill. Guys, look at that. I knew this was a bluegill just the way he hit it and he was running with it. Look at that, guys. It's a pretty, that's, a, that's a pretty good sized bluegill. Really nice colors on it. There's a lot of brim beds over here. That's why I like fishing over here. There's a lot of brim beds. There's a lot of wind pushing in here, so a lot of bass should be hanging around this. Nice little fish right there. God, he's hyper. I thought he was actually a really good one, but still pretty fish. There you go, guys. Small one. Small one. Really small one. God, these fish are hyper. Look at it. <laughs> Oh. 
couple guys I was really curious and so I picked up this football jig put a big old trailer on it I was like I'm gonna throw out in the middle and see if the big ones are just out there but I guess not only the big ones this little guy this big jig and that's a pretty that's a pretty big jig little time that's the smallest one of the day on a jig all right guys in and off the day had some fun um, I caught around 20 fish so I'm pleased with it um, it is 7 30 so we weren't out here too long we we're probably out here for like an hour 15 caught around 20 fish um, I actually saw a big fish in here so now I have some confidence that there's some big fish out here tied on a jig fish a little bit out deep caught that one on a jig but the rest came on a crankbait and I had a blast but if you guys enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up if you want to see more pond videos leave a comment below and also if you want to see some like vlogs and stuff like that leave a comment below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video